How do you properly set up your Cloud Microphones Cloud Lifter CL1? This is gonna be the easiest setup video of your entire life. Really quick, if you're not familiar with the Cloud Lifter, basically it's a device that significantly boosts the signal on quiet microphones, percussion microphones. In my case, I'm using the Shure SM7B, the most popular podcasting microphone and what have you in the world for professional podcasters and creators and streamers. And you boost that microphone signal using your Cloud Lifter couple simple steps in order to do this. Are you ready? It's so simple. Just come along with me. Let's switch over to my camera phone. So the first simple step for all of you guys to follow, obviously is set up your microphone properly, put it on a stand and plug in a low noise. Let me repeat that low noise shielded XLR cable and make sure the XLR cable is clicked all the way into your microphone. Got it? Okay. Then that XLR cable that you just plugged into your microphone, the purple one here on the left, plug it into the left side of your cloud lifter, click, then get an additional low noise, shielded, high quality XLR cable. Don't get the garbage ones, get the good ones. If you're spending the money on the cloud lifter, get a decent XLR cable that is highly rated, low noise and shielded, and then take that XLR cable and plug it into whatever your mixer is. It doesn't have to be the Rodecaster Pro like I have here. It can be whatever mixer you want it to be. Plug it directly in, make sure it clicks. Got it? The next step for your setup is you need to have a pair of monitor headphones, not consumer headphones, not Beats by Dre, not AirPods, not some boomy Sony headphones or whatever it may be, monitor headphones. Headphones that are designed not to enhance or change the audio. If you don't have those, you cannot properly set up a professional audio setup with a cloud lifter, in my opinion. It's gonna be jacked, there may be background noise, you aren't gonna understand if there are any issues in your audio if you're trying to get a clean recording. The whole point of getting a cloud lifter is to lift the signal on your microphone to get the cleanest recording possible. I recommend the Shure SE215s. Get whatever professional monitor headphones you want don't get consumer headphones for this next step. Got it? Great, you've hooked everything up and there's one more step before you actually listen and record. And that's to ensure that all of your XLR cables, both coming from your microphone and going into your mixer, are not touching any power cables. They're not touching any lights. Power cables and lights will put line noise into your signal, like in the background, and it will jack up your audio. And you'll be thinking, what the heck is wrong with this cloud lifter? What the heck is wrong with the cloud lifter is you not making sure that your audio cables aren't touching lights or touching power. I've done professional AV for 20 years. Lights especially, if they touch audio cables, you're gonna hear in the background, you're gonna think, is my signal grounded? And you're gonna to try to be a genius and figure it out. Don't let these cables touch those cables. Got it? Great. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to set up whatever your audio recording solution is. So maybe it's your mixer, maybe it's Audacity, maybe it's OBS, it doesn't matter to me. And you're going to record your audio with your cloud lifter plugged in and you're gonna get your audio to where it's at a normal volume level for you around Unity in the healthy range, where the audio is not distorted. And you're gonna to listen to that back and you're gonna play it back in your recordings and you're gonna try different gain options on your mixer. I'm gonna switch back over to my phone. You're gonna try different gain options in your mixer of either pushing up your slider in your mixer or your audio solution, or in my case, you might have built-in levels in your mixer that you can set you're gonna try phantom power on and off. You're gonna try all your different settings and you're gonna get it to where you have the least amount of line noise in your recording possible. You see my levels right here? I'm gonna be quiet for a minute, check this out. See how there's no detectable background noise? Let me do that one more time. No detectable background noise with my setup. And it's because I got all my gains set up right where I have the microphone at the right gain here, I have the microphone at the right levels within the mixer, and I've made sure all my audio cables with my cloud lifter are not touching other stuff. 
I'm telling you, it really is that simple. That resolves 90% of the issues with my clients that are setting up their cloud lifter, okay? I know it sounds ridiculous and simple, but it truly is that easy, okay? If the cloud lifter is not boosting your signal versus not having the cloud lifter there, and like, let's say you don't need the cloud lifter because the signal from your microphone is loud enough to work without the cloud lifter, then just return the cloud lifter. You don't need it. So you need to test out and see whether you can just plug your microphone directly into your mixer or in your audio interface and have it be clean and then test that versus having the cloud lifter plugged in and see which one is cleaner. Literally look at the levels on your mixer in OBS. Look at the levels in Audacity. Look at the levels in the Premiere. Look at the levels on whatever your recording solution is and literally look at it and see is the background noise there with the cloud lifter or not with the cloud lifter? Is there more background noise with this level of gain or that level of gain? Take the 30 minutes to go through this process and your audio will sound as clean as you hear right now live. This is an unedited live recording and I sound this good all the time because I set up my cloud lifter properly. Enjoy your cloud lifter.